Three is the final. This was a thriller, and Red Hawks manager Doug Semenik joins us down below outside his third base dugout. Doug, this was a great game, and your team showed a lot of metal, I thought, coming back and rallying from behind. What do you think? Yeah, the last 48 or 72 hours for us, I mean, we haven't swung the bats very well. We've been in a little bit of a coming out of St. Paul the other night and then coming in uh, here, and, you know, things weren't going too good for us. So, you know, we were able to get a couple long ones, and this is the first time we've had the win going to that side of the field. So we live on that, and we have to live on that, and we mold our team for that. So we got a couple over the wall today, and it, it came out big for us. But I thought the kid did a really good job for his first time pitching pro ball. Um, we ran his pitch count up, but I think he's used to that over there at East Strasburg University. So... <laughs> Um, I thought he settled down after the first two innings, but the thing was he used a lot of bullets for, right at the beginning of the game. He threw, well, like, in the first two innings, he had, like, 48 pitches in, so we had to be a little careful. We, we ran him over 100, but he's young. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Doug? He, he looked really confident out on the mound, and you have a real good idea as you take a look at the pitcher. He just he seemed to have a lot of confidence with the, his demeanor on the mound, and he didn't seem to be phased by anything that happened to him, even with a lot of 3-2 counts. Well, I think he had Jennings back there helping him calm him down a little bit and a little nervous anxiety to start out. I thought he made a real nice pitch in the first inning when he threw a 3-2 changeup with a guy on second, and he was got the strikeout, so... I thought that was big. Uh, you know, we only saw him briefly last Wednesday in St. Paul, and, you know, you don't know what's going to happen when the lights go on and all these fine people get in the seats. You know, it's a young guy. So we are very encouraged by what we saw. He'll get another go here on this road trip over in, uh, in um, New Jersey. He'll go again. Doug, the solo homers by Buddy Sosnowski and Keith Brackhold, those were huge. And then Chase Johnson came out, and again, he was electric. A couple of 94-mile-an-hour fastballs to finish the deal. Well, the Sosnowski homer, I mean, he's been, it's been a little bit of a struggle for him, but, you know, he plays such good defense, and he's a good kid. I love him to death. And we're just trying to help him each and every day to try to pick on some pitches that he can drive. Today he got one that he could drive, and he was able to hit it out of the ballpark. And Brackholt, you know, he's a smart hitter. I mean, you're going to have to make pitches to him, especially as the game goes later. And he got enough barrel on that to get it up there, and it went over the fence, so... You know, that's what he does. He's, he's a home run hitter. So it was big. And, you know, I just, the bullpen, I mean, Joe made a mistake on Guerrero, but we were able to persevere and get the home run to get the lead. But Johnson's been pretty electric for us. I mean, you know, he runs it up a few miles an hour faster and gives us a chance at the end of the game when we're winning. Well, Doug, I'm just curious, as you get ready for the series finale and the rubber match of this series tomorrow, how big of a lift does this, the excitement of this win give you as you go into tomorrow's matinee? Well, I mean, you know, we're just playing, you know, as they say, we're just playing them one at a time. So, I mean, we're, we're over 500, so we need to keep trucking. And I hope the confidence builds over into the next day. I mean, seven hits isn't quite cutting it for me, but we were able to get to four runs and you know, our right-hander here held us in check, held him in check. Well, it was a big crowd. It was a fun night. Congratulations, Skip. Thanks. Doug Simonick with us on our Red Hawks post-game show. And now the man of the hour, the 22-year-old rookie, Brian Nurse, with a big smile on his face. Brian, congratulations. Just tell me, how big were those nerves floating around there before the first pitch was thrown tonight? Uh, I had a lot of nerves, but, uh, you know, my team helped me through it. My catcher really helped me through it. So, so uh, once I got out there... First couple innings through me, I uh, settled down a little bit. You know, your manager, Doug Simon, had just talked about that 3-2 changeup that you threw to Steve Little for the final out, a swinging strikeout in the first. I thought that took a lot of guts. Uh, w was that the sign thrown by or shown by uh, Todd Jennings on that play? Uh, yeah, I told him I was going to follow him through all, you know, any pitch he called tonight, and uh, I trusted him in calling that pitch. How much easier did it get then once you got kind of the butterflies under control, Brian? Because it didn't really seem like you were rattled at all. You only gave up two unearned runs all night. So when did it seem like it was more comfortable for you? I mean, once I got out there into the, to the third inning, I felt like I uh, had my better command and, and it ended up working out uh, better after the second inning for me. How big of a difference was it for you coming from East Stroudsburg University in Pennsylvania? You make your professional debut tonight, and uh, just uh, what are the emotions running through you right now? 
I mean, uh, the biggest difference is, you know, all the fans you have out here. And, I mean, you're playing against professional hitters, so that's the biggest difference I saw. I know you and Joe Harris have met against one another in college. Is that right? I, I, Joe was telling me about this the other day in St. Paul. Yeah, yeah, we, play, we pitched against each other down in Florida a couple years ago. All right. Well, Brian, congratulations. Very happy for your success, and good luck in your next start at New Jersey. Thank you very much. You bet. Brian Erst with us on our Red Hawks postgame show. The Red Hawks wind up winning 4-3. to three. They were down 2 nothing after an inning and a half. They tied it up with two runs in the sixth. They scored a run in the